I'm proud to announce that the 2013 Junior Fair King also has a belt buckle, and the 2013 Junior Fair King is Joey Roach. How about another big round of applause for this year's King and Queen? Amanda O'Reilly and Joey Roach. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm really honored to be able to represent everyone. Thanks to my mom and dad and Mrs. Jackham, who's been huge support throughout all my years of the Junior Fair. It's really an honor to be able to represent everyone this year. I'm going to try to keep it short. <laughs> Um, I just want to thank everyone that was involved with anything to do with this. I want to thank my mom, my dad. Uh, I want to thank my sister. She's a big role model for things like this. Thank Kevin. And I want to thank uh, Mrs. O'Reilly. And I want to thank Mrs. Jekyll. And uh, I'm really excited to this, new, this uh, next year. Thank you very much. Well, I mean, it brought tears in my eyes, you know. I didn't expect it. She was the youngest one up there, and it was just pretty much a shock. But it's it's really cool because she's the second generation now of O'Reilly's to be Junior Fair Kings and Queens. So. Who was the first? Uh, I was, actually. You were, okay. Yeah, 1987. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have to be really uh, proud on top of that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, we're very proud. She's been in 4 since she was a clover bud, five years old. His sister was on the court. Um, we're just very proud of him. He's a busy guy. He does well in school, does well in sports, and does well in 4-H as well. He's very driven. How about you? <laughs> yep. um, and then with the coming year, what are you guys um, looking forward to him being a part of doing? Well, he'll be traveling with other festivals, other fairs, as many as you can get to, representing, learning more about other 4-H clubs, meeting more kids, which is always great. The camp counselor meets a lot of 4-H kids that way, always likes it. They'll have fun doing it. I'm the junior fair coordinator for the King and Queen contest. Okay. How long have you been doing that? I've been a junior fair coordinator for 20, 25 years. Okay, so you're very familiar with it. Um, and what is, I guess, from your side of things, what's your favorite part of this competition? Watching all of the kids. Our, my oldest son was the king and all of our children and now watching my grandchildren again. Okay. Um, and then anything special about this year? Anything? Or it's kind of been... It's been the same. pretty much the same. We do, yeah. 
Okay. My granddaughter got the queen. So. Wow. <laughs> I'm really honored to be able to represent everyone this year, and it's an amazing. Event. Okay. So much. Most challenging is probably the expectations I had to live up because my aunts and uncles have been kings and queens, and I was really, really nervous about being able to be queen. Okay. And then my only other question is: uh, obviously, you're going to be doing things this year now to tie into this. Um, anything you're looking forward to in particular? Hot air balloon ride. I'm really looking forward to hot air balloon ride, but also being able to do all the different things here at the fair and at the other counties with Joey. What's about? Uh, I'm still shocked. My cheekbones hurt. Um, I'm just so happy that I can win. And my sister was on the court and uh, she did that the whole thing and I was really excited about that. Um, I'm just so excited to like go to different fairs and all that different opportunities that are, are involved with that. Okay. And meeting all my new friends that I'm going to meet. Something that was challenging was uh, taught, like having different people that are on the court that are my friends and uh, had to, having to have uh, like a rivalry basically or not, not like a rivalry like they're my friends right, right, so right. I don't want to have competition between all the different people that I know so we were all pretty good about that we all stayed friends and still friends and we all should be